For the next week, I'm gonna be training like Kobe Bryant. He has one of the most insane workout routines ever, working out six hours a day, six days a week for six months of the year. Before we start training though, I have to get a baseline for my skills. To start, I shot 30 shots around the court, 15 from mid-range and 15 from three. And this went terrible. Nine for 30. I shot 30%. Can't say I'm proud of that but I never said I'm good. Next, I ran a three-quarter sprint like they do in the NBA draft. And when I was doing this, I felt so quick. I finished with a time of 3.57 seconds, which would have put me last in the 2023 NBA draft. And out of the 1,388 players that have ran it since 2001, I would be 1,348. I have so much room for improvement. And I have three challenges for the week complete Kobe's training, beat his career shooting percentage, and get out of last place for the sprint. If I don't complete these challenges, I have to buy this fursuit and come out to the world with my secret fursona. If I did six hours a day like Kobe did, I think I would actually die this week. So today we're doing his first hour of workouts and every day we're gonna be adding one additional hour. The first hour of the workout is all shooting, starting with close shots, mid ranges, then three pointers followed by layups and floaters. I'll be honest, I look really bad out there and I definitely didn't go into this with the right Mamba mentality, taking a lot of really lazy shots and I didn't have much of a game plan on the shots I would be taking throughout the hour. So I was just kind of going around the court shooting at random. I ended up shooting 245 for 408 on the day, making 60% of my shots. For reference, Kobe said he would make, not take, but make, 700 to 1,000 shots a day. I don't know how he does this because my shoulders were pretty dead after this hour of shooting. I feel like I was getting better throughout the hour. It's just my shoulders hurt so much. Like it, it just hurt to put up that many shots. And that's only one of the six hours that Kobe does. I'm not excited for the rest of the days. We're on to day two. I'm about to go play another hour of basketball. Then we got another hour of Kobe's workout. After that, I've come prepared though. I have an entire shooting routine for basketball today because yesterday I did not really have a plan at all, but let's get working. With the new routine, I was supposed to make 260 shots in the hour. I ended up only making 192 and took a total of 381. Worse than yesterday, but I focused a lot more on mid-range and three-point shooting today. All right, we finished the first hour of the workout. My shoulders are completely dead. It's only day two and my shoulders shoulders already hurt so much. We're hopping into another hour. We got an hour of weightlifting now. Hour two of training today, we hit the weight room for an hour of lower body training, doing squats, hip thrusts, lunges, and calf raises. All right, it's day three. It's currently almost 7 a.m. The reason I'm up so early, we got another hour added today. That's an hour of track work. This is what I've been dreading getting into since the beginning. Let's go get this work in. For the track work, I started with a 10 minute warm up. I just did sprints in a field today, but all the other days will be at the court. I then did a 25 meter, 30 meter, and 35 meter sprint for five sets, resting one to two minutes between each sprint and five minutes between each set. I then cooled down with a light jog to finish off the track work. After this, it was back to the court to shoot for an hour. I had a rebounder today, shout out to my editor Mason, and I was able to put up a lot more shots. This did not increase my percentage of shots made at all though. It just made my shoulders more sore. I ended up shooting 249 for 494 on the day, still right around that 50% mark. And again, after shooting, it was back to the gym. And today I hit upper body doing bench press, chin ups, dips, face pulls, tricep extensions, and finishing with curls. All right, so I just finished the weightlifting the last hour of the three hours of working out today. It's almost 12 o'clock right now. I woke up at 6.30, so it's been a long day. So the six hours are gonna be crazy. And my body is hurting today. I mean, 10 minutes into shooting the basketball, my shoulders hurt so much. And then also having to do upper body, it just killed them. So I'm not excited to see what they're gonna feel like tomorrow. All right, day four, we're adding hour four to the workout and it's another hour of basketball. My body is so sore from yesterday. I'm not excited to do this, but let's do it anyways. Starting off the day with sprints, I'm on the court today. Starting with the warm up, I moved into 10 half court sprints, followed by 10 full court sprints, three sets of full court sueys, and to finish off the hour, I did full court layups. After these sprints, my body was already pretty dead, but I moved right on to the two hours of basketball. To start, I did one and a half hours of shooting instead of just one, and honestly, I had a very good day despite my body being in pain the entire time. For some reason, every time a granny walked past the court, I just couldn't miss a shot. In total, I shot 398 for 671 on the day. First two and a half hours are done and my body is feeling it. And I still have half an hour of dribbling 
and an hour of weightlifting, I might not survive this. But despite how bad I am at dribbling, I finished the half an hour. Then I hit the weight room, going back to lower body, doing deadlifts, split squats, leg raises, calf raises, and finished off with some abs, or at least I tried to. This took everything out of me, and I just had to lay on the floor for a while after I was done. All right, we're on to day five. Honestly, I don't feel too bad this morning. We have another hour added to the workout, and that's gonna be an hour of cardio. Despite feeling good in the morning, the second I started doing sprints, I no longer felt good anymore. It was the same sprint routine as yesterday, followed by an hour and a half of shooting. Shout out to my girlfriend for rebounding for me today. Unfortunately, I was shooting so bad on the day, she felt too embarrassed to be there and left. Texting me, she was thinking of ending things because of how bad I was. In total, I shot 388 for 660 on the day. Then I finished off the two hours of basketball with 20 minutes of dribbling and 10 minutes of reaction training. Then it was back to the gym. It was upper body again, where I did bench press, chin-ups, shoulder press, rows, push-ups, tricep dips, and finally curls. All right, there's four hours down. My whole body hurts so much. I am so sore and I'm so tired. But we still got an hour and it's cardio. Let's let, let's finish this day off. For the cardio, I decided to cycle because there was no way I was going to run anymore. And despite how much my legs hurt, I managed to finish the ride. Day five is complete. It was a pretty slow bike ride. I only went 23 and a half kilometers, but it's as fast as I could go with the state of my legs. They are completely dead now. It, it hurts to stand up. And we only have one day remaining and that's six hours. Kobe's entire workout. I'll see you then. Now, Kobe isn't a complete psycho, and he does take one rest day per week. And I'm gonna be taking that rest day today. I need my body to recover so I can complete his full six hour workout, which will be tomorrow. See you then. We're finally here, the final day of working out. We have another hour added today, and it's another hour of track work. Two hours of track work, two hours of basketball, and two hours in the gym. Let's just get this over with. The day of rest definitely came in clutch because I felt a lot more energized today, but the first five hours was all the same. One hour of sprints, an hour and a half of shooting where I shot 367 for 616, 30 minutes of dribbling, one hour of weightlifting, hitting upper body, and finally an hour of cardio. Five hours is complete. That, that bike ride was tough. My booty hurts. My legs hurt. I'm gonna rest for a few hours and then finish off with that last hour of sprints. And then we'll be done training like Kobe. For the final hour of sprints, I did them in a park and it was similar to the first day, starting with 25 meter, 30 meter, and 35 meter sprints. Then I did some sprints at around half court length. Tried to do suies, but I fell because my shoes had no grip. And you can tell just how much my body was hurting here because I am so slow doing these sprints. We're at the end of this workout here. 58 minutes, we got one last sprint to do, and we're done. And there it is. The Kobe training is finished and we just have one thing left to do. Today we find out if this training actually made me better or if it was all for nothing. Let's see if I can beat Kobe's shooting percentage and get out of last place in the three quarter sprint. Starting with the three quarter sprint, I improved a lot since day zero, finishing in a time of 3.44 seconds, moving me out of last place and also putting me 1,203rd all time. Now, all I have to do is beat 44.7% in the shooting contest. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, there it is. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Fourteen. There we go. And with that make, we complete our last challenge. And while I may have done irreversible damage to my body this week, I guess that's what it takes to be the Black Mamba. But what does it take to be Stephen Curry? Check out this video right here where I trained like him for a week. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace and rest in peace to Kobe Bryant.